Welcome to the Dream House event. Thank you guys so much. We did not expect such an overwhelming amount of applications. We actually got like 29 uh, applicants from cosplayers and then 11 applicants from uh, photographers. And uh, so this is one of the first videos. Actually, I'm gonna make all of these videos public now so that everybody can get an idea of like what we do and how we go through this process. Uh, so welcome. Uh, the first thing I want to say again is thank you. We did not expect such an overwhelming amount of people to apply and instead of doing the traditional route of what we were going to do, um, we're going to try and incorporate this event so that everyone who applied gets the opportunity to participate. Uh, and so what that's going to look like is we're going to split everybody up into two groups. So the two groups that are going to be split up into are going to be there's um, there's going to be group A, which is going to be eight cosplayers that get chosen to get published in the magazine and they'll all have a double page um, picture. I'll put a, a layout of the magazine right here so you all can see how it's all going to look. And then there'll be group B and group B will basically be a uh, eight page uh, collection of all the other photographers and models uh, that didn't get to be in group A, but they'll all receive a collection of, uh, or they'll be in that collection of pages uh, with whatever photos they take. And so what I mean by group A and group B is that we're going to have uh, a morning session. So we'll have five hours in the morning dedicated to group A, and that'll be split up by a four hour break that will be given to group B to come in and do 30 minute shoots. Um, uh, every group B model will be able to schedule at least two at a maximum, a maximum of two, but at least get one. Um, and then towards the end of the day, there'll be another three hour session for the group A models. Um, the way we're doing this is because we didn't want to cut out everybody. And we know that a lot of you guys, after looking at the cosplays y'all were gonna be bringing, it was going to be more feasible because a lot of people wanted to do like just one-off cosplays. And so what we're doing is we're allowing everybody to come in through a, a set time and uh, the only problem is that's a lot of people and so we're gonna have to stagger everybody and so just kind of bear with us on this process. Now, this is all going to depend on the Google Forms that you guys all fill out. So I'm sending out a Google Form at, uh, on Sunday night and you guys should receive that form. Fill it out as fast as possible because those are the forms that we're gonna use to make the decision whether we want to either incorporate everybody or whether we should just stick to the original idea of just doing our top eight and then picking eight people and then just go in with those eight people. Um, keep in mind that one of the main requirements that you will have uh, to attend our event and to be chosen as one of those eight people is that you will have to make at least two to three posts per week of content from our events mixed in with your own content. Um, and so what that looks like is basically just making two posts per week. Um, and that's all that we ask. That's the only requirement that we're really looking for. Uh, it's not really up to how many followers you have or anything like that. Um, getting into a little bit more of the event itself. So you guys won't have access to a lot of the stuff yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like right here. Um, so we'll have the Google Docs up here. We'll have a welcome page with everybody's goals. Then we'll have a page with every, all the people that are involved and uh, who's in group A, who's in group B. All of that will be decided by this coming Friday as soon as all of those forms come in. It could be dealt with earlier if everyone submits their forms by like, Wednesday and we have all of the information that we can draw a conclusion sooner. Uh, so as soon as everyone fills out every all of the forms that we have, we'll tell you guys what's going to happen. Um, and then uh, the next uh, parts of those Google Docs will just be the stats for nerds columns, but you'll also be able to see the scheduling. So you'll see how the schedule will look and you'll be able to tell whether you even have the time and the availability to be there, which is one of the questions that's actually on the Google Forms. Um, so you'll be able to see group A is in the morning, group B is in the afternoon, and then group uh, A comes back in the evening and does it again. Um, the rest of the stuff that's on the forms is you'll also be able to see the uh, pictures of the Dallas uh, Dream House itself. So if you're shooting outside, there's no maximum amount of people that you can have in a shoot outside. It's actually kind of wide open. You can see the spaces are like really laid out well. Um, and then when you go inside, we'll have like a small little green room. 
Um, we have the love room, which has a makeup room in the corner, as well as a uh, heart shaped uh, heart shaped bathtub uh, towards the left of that. And then we also have like that bed in the middle. Uh, moving on to we have the French room which is that beautiful blue and gold room um, everything was actually hand designed and hand placed on this uh, the history of this building is amazing and then to the right of that we actually have uh, I believe I call it the golden chandelier room and the golden chandelier room is just to show everybody like this big black door that's the entrance way and then this golden chandelier that comes down um, and those can have up to at least three, uh, three people in the French room and then like three to five people. The space is very small, so we want to limit it to under 20 people in the house at all at any given moment. Um, and there's also only like one bathroom area right there. So we want to make sure that anyone in group B shows up with their cosplays already ready to go. Uh, and there'll be more and more on that as the situation develops and I call it like that's not like a newscaster but like all I'm trying to say is that we'll build on it as we go um, just because I wanted to involve everybody uh, doesn't mean that that's the way it has to go uh, if you guys would prefer to just join other events in the future and be notified about that then that's also okay uh, but this first video I just kind of wanted to put out to give everybody an idea of what we're going to be doing uh, and so we'll have a conclusive uh, event schedule set by this week Friday uh, after we have done all of the interviews so what's gonna happen now is a couple of things uh, you'll get access to a couple of documents you'll be able to see what's happening uh, you'll have a Google form that should be emailed to you by the end of Sunday night please fill that out as soon as possible after you fill out that Google form you'll also be asked to if you're a new person and haven't attended the events before you'll be asked to schedule a 15 to 30 minute meeting with us so that we can like kind of give you an onboarding and explain to you what we do plus it's also kind of like a vibe check just to make sure um, that it's not um, we are a good fit for what you're looking to do uh, beyond any of that I don't want to make this video too long I don't want to make you guys uh, kind of sit here but that's all the information uh, that I'm presenting uh, to you this week next week we'll have more of a concrete uh, idea of what we're going to be doing as well as at the end of this uh, you'll also receive a link in that email to the discord you'll be able to join the discord and then you'll be able to see the community area until I start uh, putting you guys into groups uh, for group A and group B so for this week uh, just have fun in discord you'll be able to talk to some of our current attendees uh, and some of our current attendees are also in the dream house so it'll be really interesting to see what you guys talk about this week and uh, how you guys want to call them but uh, thank you all so much for, again, giving me the time. I'm so excited to be a part of this event with all of you guys. And uh, I'm going to try my hardest to uh, make it something that uh, you guys never forget. Um, again, thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you soon.